Good morning, YouTube, and welcome back to my channel. My name is Corey, and in today's video, I am going to be decluttering and organizing my pantry space. My pantry has been neglected for the better part of a year, and it needs a serious, serious decluttering, serious reorganization. So if you're looking to upgrade your pantry, stick around because this video is definitely for you. <laughs> I'm going to be giving you actionable steps, tips, and tricks, and I'm going to be taking you through my process of decluttering and organizing. So I hope you'll stick around to the end so you can get some good motivation and some good ideas for organizing your pantry space. So let's dive into the video. Okay, so here is the small pantry. This is the before. I'm gonna warn you, it is really bad. And the sad thing is, is that my mom actually decluttered and organized this about a year ago when my son was born. And it has been totally neglected this last year. So as you can see, it's just a bunch of junk. You know, some people have junk drawers. We have a, dr a junk pantry. <laughs> So it's pretty bad and it's very dysfunctional. Um, so this needs to change because I cannot stand looking at this any longer. And then just kind of a, a note before we get started, how we buy groceries is we just buy on a week to week basis. I don't have a lot of canned goods or anything extra. I would like to have stuff on hand, but because I think because how cluttered this is and I have nowhere to put things. I just get very overwhelmed when I have too much stuff. So I'm hoping once I get all of this out, declutter a bunch of things that we don't need, reorganize it, I can come up with a better system for storing food so we have food on hand and I'm not constantly going to the grocery store. So that's really the goal for this pantry is to just make it more functional, be able to actually store things. Um, we get a lot of bulk items from Costco. so our towel or paper towels, which is just kind of like up here, they fall down on me a lot. Um, and then I also get bulk um, seltzer waters and things like that. And when they're not being stored in the fridge, I have to put the extras either in the garage or I just like shove them in here somewhere and it just really does not work. So that is really the goal for this pantry organization is just to make it more functional, be able to store food and store the actual pantry items that we need. So what we're gonna do first is take everything out. I'm gonna put things in a keep pile, things in a trash or donate pile, and then things in a relocate pile. Once I'm done with that, then I'm going to figure out how exactly I want to organize this um, and what items I need to organize it. So do I need baskets? Do I need, you know, three tiered shelving, things like that? Um, do I need to hang things on the wall? Uh, we already have like dog hooks here, but can I hang something down below? So I just wanna get everything out of the space first and then we're gonna come up with a plan. So that is my tip for you guys. If you're not sure which direction you wanna go, get everything out and then you can really see what kind of space you have and how you want to use the space. All right, let's get to it. It's getting way too crowded in this small hallway, so I am going to move everything to the kitchen. We still have a long way to go. You can really see how disgusting this is. I mean, there's like dog food and rice, and when you have a cluttered mess, it's just so much harder to clean things. And then I have like, I have a Ninja Foodie that has an air fryer. I'm just gonna throw these out because they have dog food in them. 
I have a Ninja Foodi that has an air fryer and all the different pieces to it. And all of the different pieces are all strewn everywhere and not together. So I really need to start grouping things together and keeping them in one spot. So I'm not digging through this mess to find what I need. So that's another piece of the foodie. And this is just a random box with more dog food in it and a hat and an old license plate. So I don't think we need that. Okay, this is bad. This is embarrassing actually. Well, I almost got everything out and then this little guy woke up after 29 minutes of a nap. I think he's teething and he's sick too. So I'm not surprised, but I was hoping he would take at least an hour and I could get a little bit more done. It's okay, buddy. But hey, you know, that's just the reality of doing things around the house with the baby. You just do what you can do. So I'm gonna either put him on my back in my backpack that we have, or I will just let him maybe play with some of the safe items on the ground here. He's been really into putting lids on things. So I'm gonna let him put the lids on these coffee mugs. And this is everything that I'm keeping so far. I, I need to go through it better and declutter it more. I'm going to finish taking everything out, clean it out because it's disgusting. And then I'm going to combine, group things, how I would group them in the pantry. But I'm gonna finish cleaning this out. I'm not gonna film it because I just wanna get it done. Once I have everything out, I'll take you through grouping the items together. See you in a few. <coughs> yep, this is happening. This guy is being really, really clingy today, but he loves the backpack. So he is going to help me declutter and organize. All right, let's go. everything removed I came up with my four major problems that I have the first one is storing bulk items like paper towels and things like drinks that don't fit in the fridge so that is problem number one that we are going to figure out a solution for problem number two are storing these plastic bags they were just skewed all over the pantry so we need to figure out a solution for that. Um, the problem, the issue number three is a place to store all of the dog food and dog items. And then the last problem is just creating enough space to be able to stock up on things like canned goods and dry food. Oh no. That's my kombucha. Okay, now that that's all cleaned up, um, like I was saying is just, my biggest issue is just creating the space that I need to store canned goods and dry food items that I can just stock up and have on hand because that's really what my pantry and kitchen is lacking. So those are my four main problems that I'm going to be tackling. And I think I came up with some pretty good solutions for those, so stay tuned. So for all of the dog items, I am going to just take what we use on a daily basis. So the dog's wet food, the dry food, and put it in that pantry. And then all of this other stuff, um, like compactable water bottle, the comb and things like that, I'm gonna store somewhere else because we don't use it that often. And I want this pantry to 
just be things that we use on a regular basis. Um, same thing with these coolers that I have. I have like five of them here. I am going to store them probably down in the basement um, just so I have them, but I rarely use these anymore. Um, but I don't want to get rid of them because they are really good quality and I will use them in the future. I just don't use them every day. enough room to store some dry food. So I'm really excited about that. So let's clean these. I'll decant the rice and we'll put it in the pantry. Okay, so the only pantry item that I really always have stocked is rice. So I would love to know what your favorite pantry items are. Drop a comment down below what your pantry must-haves are because honestly, I don't really know. I want to have a nice stocked pantry and I just don't know what to put in it. So rice is what we have. I do like Kodiak cakes and we usually have Costco size of that too. So I'll probably put some in here. But other than that and a few chickpeas, I have nothing. So I would love to know what your pantry must-haves are. Drop it down below so I can stock my pantry and have food for a little while. Okay, so here is the finished product. My pantry, it is still really aesthetically not pleasing, but that's okay, it's functional and I spent zero dollars on this. So I put my Ninja Foodie and all the accessories up at the top, our trash bags because we access that on a regular basis. Next, I have some drinks and some canned goods. And then I have a whole space right here where I can put more canned goods or other pantry items. And then I cleared this whole shelf, has nothing, except for rice, Kodiak cakes, and some pasta. So I can fill that up with food items if I want to, or I can just keep it open, you never know. And then down here, I have dog food and dog items and just a random assortment of things. This is an old tissue box and we just have the bags in here, our reusable plastic bags. And then I utilized this old tea box that I had to kind of keep the utensils and cups all together. So again, that's free. And then down below, I just store all of our paper towels and they fit in there really nicely. And then the dog food. So I know that this isn't very pretty and it's, even though I did clean it, it's stained and dirty and it's not the pantry of my dreams. It is functional for our family. And that's really what matters. So all in all, I really do like how this pantry turned out. 
it is way less cluttered. My main focus was just decluttering a bunch of the items that we don't use, a bunch of garbage. And now we have a lot more space to store things and it's really more functional for my family. You know, like I said before, it is not the pantry of my dreams. It's small and it's not aesthetically beautiful, but it is functional and that's really what matters. And it didn't cost me a dime to do it. So I hope this video encourages and inspires you to declutter and organize your pantry space. If you did like this video, it would mean the world to me if you gave it a thumbs up. Drop a comment down below letting me know what you liked, what you didn't like, what other kind of content you want to see from me. And on that note, we will see you on the next one.